Yeah, hi. Welcome to Blender. Good morning to Europe and good day to everywhere else. <laughs> so it is with a tentative start that I do hope everything's working fine. I tested most things, but I mean, we all know how it goes. So today the plan is we're going to make this bass guitar and I'm going to troubleshoot any stream problems and hopefully it'll go well and we'll have a lovely new model out so that will be good so i'm basing it off of my jaguar model just so just so everything's consistent this is my interface i have fun colors um <laughs> i have my bottle of water with me which is only currently half full so there's mistake number one so i suppose we should just get started then um as you could probably tell, I'm a fan of Offset's guitars. So I don't have a Fender Jazz Bass. I have a CSL, which is like a... It's a vintage Japanese knockoff, essentially. It's it's old, but it was, it was really cheap. I got it for like 180 euro, so super duper good. But let's get going. This is just going to be a nice, chill, relaxing, nice, chill stream where I just get something done, hopefully. Hopefully. That is the aim. If things go wrong, this is the time for it to happen. And maybe it'll become a regular thing because I need to pressure myself into being productive, so this is one way of doing it, I suppose. I'm just double checking my setup, making sure everything's live. I do think it is. Um, it's hard to know for sure. Well, if it's not, then I'll fix it for next time. I'm not sure that's the entirely the best way to think about it, but I'm sure it's fine. Just being paranoid because it's the first one for a while. Okay, so ignore the shading errors. That's just because of convex, convex, concave. Con, it's because of this island here, my little peninsula, little horn off the end. There you go. Just need to cut it. So I'm just tracing around the outside of this shape because why not? This is the same shape as my my base, so. It would be a waste of time not to. I keep seeing people asking questions like, how do you do something without reference? And it seems kind of silly because there's no reason really not to use reference. If you're making something that exists in real life, then look at pictures. At least look at pictures if you're not directly drawing on them. Okay, so the jazz bass, or I don't know if I should call it jazz bass because it's not, it's not a Fender, so or it's not a Squire, so it's not licensed. But my um, <coughs> my bass, it has a square heel. I think that's quite good as well. Yeah, so it comes out and then it goes back in again, which I guess isn't that important because I'll never see it from the back end any videos but whatever mm -hmm. I'll keep it slightly rounded though just so it um, that that's for my sake for <laughs> lining things up okay that's about right so I've just cut off the horns with um these loops here and that's just going to Stop some of the shading artifacts, or at least um, hinder them. Hinder, that's a band. I'll listen to them for a long time. So the inlay is, is block inlay by the maple fretboard. I think it's maple, it's light coloured anyway. So, uh, oh wait, base, yeah. Uh, 
let's turn off selection on the reference image just to make things a bit easier. So I have this massive end on here, but once again, not a problem. This model is not going to be deformed, so it does not matter at all. Okay, let's just square it off a little bit. I don't want to make the edge loops too tight though, because I am using a bevel modifier. So if I bring them too close, it might limit the... Oh, they doesn't seem to actually be... Oh, that's good. Sometimes the bevels get limited by the place where they're at their minimum, I think. <laughs> okay. So the strap buttons I can steal directly from the Jaguar, since they are the same. A little bit more geometry up here. Let's move out this curve. The reason this is like this um, extra edge loop here, that's just a supporting loop to help the bevels find their way. Does it really serve any other purpose? So for these I'm using linked duplicates, so that means editing one will edit all of them at the same time, so that's super duper handy. Is there anything else I can steal from the Jag? I don't think so. Or maybe the um, scratch plate. Yeah, come on then. I'm not using a link duplicate for that. Uh, selection's cursor. Okay, so that's just about aiming the shape. I really enjoy modeling guitars. I think I just really like guitars. <laughs> I mean, that's true, I do really like guitars. But they really like interesting shapes to model. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. <laughs> Especially the com um like the smooth bits on the back of the neck. They can be a bit of a hassle. We'll be tackling that later, so it's not a problem for now. <laughs> Set that connected only. I'm using proportional editing to try and keep things roughly smooth, but it's not so important yet. So because it's designed for a stylist aesthetic, I can take a lot of I can take a lot of liberties, is that the phrase? I can not be so precise. As in I don't have to be precise. And also like so the reason the scratch plate is floating like that is to have the clean line around the outside for throwing outlines later because we want to have the... So I'm using Blender's Freestyle to draw the outlines. And it likes it when... And it likes having... solid outlines. It doesn't like it when things are... If I were to extrude this down to the level like this, and they were touching face to face, so there's sort of Z fighting. It wouldn't know whether to draw that line or not, and then get drawing issues and flickering in animations, and that's not nice. It looks okay in um Oops. sorry, my brain's frozen. It looks okay in still images, but in animations it results in flickering. Hmm. I'm just gonna redraw this shape manually. It's just using extruded polylines. I call them that. I'm pretty sure that's what other people call them too. Extruded polylines. It's just getting one vertex and drawing a line at it by just pressing E and extruding. Oh, control. Right clicking. Which is a command that I 
learned very recently actually but <laughs> it's not gonna really use because i just like having the g and drag thing okay there we are excuse me the colouring in stream. Just in the gaps. The gaps? Here's what I mean. Okay, so we don't need any of this stuff that has the jazz bass does not have this. This Jaguar character. I I love the extra metal plates. Like on the Jazz Bass and the Jaguar with these, the Mustang has the bottom one but not the top one. But I just think it looks so cool. If lobby cluttered and excessive with the controls. It's nice to have the variety though. Okay, let's do... Let's do the right click trick again. I think I'm almost faster doing it with... Just pressing G and dragging. That's probably just because I'm used to it though. Not because it's a inherently better method. There's so many different ways to do everything in 3D. Which is cool because you can just pick your favourites. But at the same time it means whoever you ask will tell you a different method and that can be a bit confusing and it's really difficult to teach as well because <laughs> I'll be telling someone my method but it'll be so different and I'll be using techniques that other people haven't even because everyone's brain works differently so it, it, it's completely it might not work for other people in fact, I know for a fact because I've tried to teach other people occasionally and a lot of the time it results in minor confusion when I do things well a different way. Everyone does it a different way. Okay, I think that's done there. Hey, it's looking good already. So, oh wait, lob it here. Not quite done, not quite done. Jump the gun a bit. Here we are. And while we're here, let's do the back side too. So I'm just scaling invert on the uh, <laughs> vertical axis. Can I do Will it work like this? There we are. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit of a hacky way to do it, but not exactly the same result, so it doesn't matter. There we are. Back way done. Oh, wait. Let's move that up a bit to where it's supposed to be. Actually, where? Okay, here it is, though. That is looking pretty good already. Oh, it's not this colour though. That's right, we'll do that later. Pickups. Hmm. So the pickups are kind of... This one's recessed into the body, so... I don't know if I want to do something similar. Also, the pole pieces are level with the plastic, so I have to create a lot of geometry. I guess 
we could do that. There's no, there's no harm in doing that. Sure. Why not? It's not like we're going for real-time rendering, so it should be okay. So using the symmetry thing. That's the technical term. There we are. That aligned. About there. And then the pole pieces. Hmm. Are they? Checking the reference, checking the reference. Okay. They kind of go in pairs. And then there's four, but they evenly spread around the middle, so. That's the most annoying place for them to be spread around. Does that make sense? It's because they're... Having them spread around the middle means there isn't one in the middle. So instead of having one, two, three, four... Oops. Oh yeah, because there's three gaps in between the four. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. In any case, we're just going to use this little subdivided line as a reference. I think everything's going to be fine. There we are. So now if I snap it to each of those vertices, it's evenly distributed. And that's one of the methods that probably confuses people. And then delete the extra vertices. There we are. No gold here. But what did I do? I think I just messed that up. No. I'm, I, I swear I deleted something. Okay, let's just hope everything's okay. Uh, control I to invert selection. Here we are. Nice, looking good. And now I'll just do the thingy bobs, screw things. Um, a circle. Twelve vertices. That's just a random number, really. Picking something that has a has a vertex on the top and bottom like this, and isn't going to be too detailed because well, it doesn't need to be. Once again, creating angles, but also once again, that's not a problem. Lower it down a bit. Just increase the solidify to maybe not that much. Just to push it into the body, so this means it won't it won't draw freestyle lines. Shades move. There we are. Nice. It's coming along nicely. Is there anything I can align with? No. Okay. fine. I think there's a vertex group. There we are. So I'm using a vertex group to exclude some of the pieces from the solidify modifier. And what that means is I can have these screws just floating on top. So they'll just draw an outline rather than actually rendering a, a mesh. Which is nice. Here we are. And then the same one, using a linked duplicate again, obviously. For the other pickup. I guess it's technically the the people call it the neck pickup because it's a bit far away. But I guess there's nothing better to call it, so. 
let's cut out the shape from the pick guard. Oh wait. Uh, revert, revert. Okay, so let's get rid of the solidify my bar. No, not yet. I always get the armor and full stop. I then use muddled. They're just slightly too far away for me to be accurate pressing them. It's like I hit them with my thumb, but I always misjudge. I tried to rebind them probably, but I've been using them so long now. It's ingrained. Okay, subdivide. This is a a weird method for doing this, but bear with bear with. So I'm just creating the outline. And I use the solidify modifier to expand it outwards a bit, like that. Mm, not quite like that. There we are. Something like that. And this I use as like a knife object to cut out of the figure. Second guessing. Okay, let's just duplicate that to save it for later and try it. Oopsie. Oh wait, that wasn't the problem. I'm using the outside line as a knife. Knife intersect. And now I should just be able to delete that. That's okay, but we'd also have to cut it out of the body too. Which I guess I was going to do anyway. Is that a bit big? Hmm, there's not that much leeway in real life. I think that's okay though, because now I'll get a nicer... Or at least a clear outline. Okay, let's let's do that again. What if we use both? Um Okay, there we are. That's that's fine. Okay, so now Okay, not now. <laughs> Take that back. Can't do that. Also, that wasn't always there, was it? Oh, it was. That's okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it now. <laughs> right, let's... Um, get the solidified modifier back. I want to make it a little bit thinner. Oops. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, you want it? What am I? Uh, oops. <laughs> Wrong object selected. Oh, that was before I. That was after I got rid of it. Okay, there we are. Do you want it a little bit less? Oh, that fixes that problem too. So that's good. Duplicate. And apply. Join. And cut. There we are. Oops. Nice. And I think I'll cut out the body too, but I'll test on this one first. 
solidify the solidify save one for in case I mess up which is fairly likely and this time oh no I can just use cut again Oh wait, no I can't because I'm using the solidify. Ah. Oh no. Okay, I could use a boolean modifier. I don't really like boolean modifiers though because they're a bit clumsy. Okay, sure. Let's give it a go. Hey, that worked okay. Normally they don't work that well. A pleasant surprise. Did they both work? Whoa! Ge genuinely surprised. Okay, nice. If I add another mold of uh, another material, will that fix it? Ha! Huh. Nice. Well, that went better than expected. Heck yes. Let's go. Okay, that's looking good. What's next? Bridge? Let's do this with, um, knobs first. So these have like a weird eight-sided indenty shape. That's the technical term. Wait, is it six? Six-sided indenty shape. <sighs> so let's start with a circle. This is a bit rich to call this a circle, but yes, it's a six-sided circle. And also, let's use an empty. What's 360 divided by 6? Six? 60. Quick maths. Mm -hmm. So if we array it around, using object offsets around the empty, Then we can get a one and edit all sides. Yes, there we are. So that, that's a, a little trick there. Let's trim down the opacity. What about this one? Oh, there we are. Just to make our, just to make what we're editing a little bit easier to see. So each side has like a circular base, but then it goes up into a six-sided rippy thing. <laughs> Don't know how to describe it. Like this shape, it's like a star. A star, that's what it is, it's a star. Doesn't look like that though. Just want to smooth out a little. There we are. I think that's basically right. So then we can interpolate that manually. Kind of. <laughs> Me using words, I have no idea if they're right. It's fine. As long as you get the gist. So we start with the, the round base and then it becomes this shape and we need to find a way of getting between the two. So 
So one, two, three, four, five to two. I could do six to two. I could do five to three. Hmm. Like, no, that's the wrong shape. What shape is it? Oh, wait, actually, it doesn't taper, it just bottoms up. That makes things easier. Let's just do this. <laughs> Engons. We love Engons here. Penguins are not given the respect they deserve. I can merge first and last so it goes all the way around. Make it a bit smaller because <laughs> it's deleting some of our detail. So yeah. I'm gonna apply like a bevel across these just to make it a bit nicer. Actually this is really small, it's not necessary. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Well, let's get rid of those mark sharps as well. Mm. Unnecessary geometry. It's fine. We can always get rid of them if, for some reason, performance is an issue. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just... <laughs> if it sounds like I'm leaning away, it's because I'm looking at my real life reference. There we are. Or if I make this one go to close this, this vertex here, so that's clipping. A way to way around that. It's okay though, because it's not a very big bevel. It's not a very big bevel. Here we are. Oh, wait, the, the black plastic's not glossy anyway. My material, so it doesn't matter. Should it be? No, not really. That's kind of disappointing. Miss out on some detail. So I have the, the highlights on, which <laughs> that looks a bit nuts, but yeah, maybe that's why they're, <laughs> that's why they're not on, for this material anyway. So I've changed my mind about the additional detail thing. It's not needed. Because when you're viewing the bass guitar from here, maybe at the top. I'll add a bevel at the top. That's an indecisive today. And to get rid of this star shape, I'm going to do that. Did that work? Yes. Yes, it did. Okay, that's good. What time is it? Half five, that's okay. So now. I want to add this little white line, but I have to apply the modifier first, which is okay. Just make sure everything's stuck together properly. I think 12 might not be enough. Wait, let's just think back to how many are you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12. Okay, 12 is fine. <clears throat> the past is spoken. Hey, 
Okay, so let's delete the empty as well. Clean up after ourselves. Wait, why is there weird? What? Huh? What are you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Because I don't even know what happened. <laughs> And now for this little white line thing. Essentially it's just a rounded square. So let's do that. At 30 degrees. About that thick. And with rounded end, does it start like in the middle? Probably. There we are. And we use this as we've already uh, the knife project or knife intersect. Knife, just the, the knife thing. That means we can assign a different material. Here we are. Why have I got two? I saw that Mechachrome 001. Where are you from? Double one. Where you at? Where? You're nowhere. It's up there. Okay, if you say so. Let's just remap everything to the first one, just in case. Oh, I was using that. Okay, where's my pickup gun? <laughs> did I did I delete it by accident? We were. I'm so confused. I mean, that's fine because I have another one, but where did it go? Eh. Ghosts. These are a lot lower than the main body, so let's match that. They're a lot, they're not like super duper low. Probably about there. Not eyes. Okay. So let's duplicate that with a linked duplicate. But I want to use the linked duplicate for the small one. Hmm. Sure. Two! There. Oh, that's looking good, that is. Me too. Me. Me. I've always had a very messy-ish workspace. So I like having all of my windows open at once instead of using the, the tabs. Which, it's, it's definitely a workflow. What colour? I'll think about that later. I'll just make it different for now. My actual one is, is a sunburst with a tortoise, tortoise pick guard. That's the, the red one. I don't know why it's called tortoise. I've never seen a tortoise that colour. I 
because I, I, I would think Tortoise would be green. Or like the sort of dark... I nearly said navy green. That's not a colour, is it? Is it? Debating whether to steal the cable or not. I will, but later. Okay, now. Uh, is it time for the neck? I don't like doing the neck. Let's do the bridge first. <laughs> Anything to avoid the neck for a little bit longer. That's weird. No point. No, no, no. One seven one. Aren't you? Dead? Minus zero. Minus zero. That's. I guess that's just a rounding error. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin McLeod. Kevin McLeod? Kevin. Shout out to Kevin for the music. This is Boss Antigua. Oh, wait. Here. That's better. Let's use solidify modifier for this. Now I might raise it slightly up so it floats above the base. <laughs> above the base, as in the bottom bit, but it's a base. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm recording key groups. That's not necessary. Where's my pickup gone? Oh! Is it because I was recording keyframes? I was... Eh? Eh? There you are. I think I animated the position. <sighs> That's a... Strange mistake. Okie dokie. Um, shakes move. I almost always use an angle of 50 for that. It's just become my default. Bevel the vertices. Nice rounded edges. Hey. Now once again we need to Once again? Haven't done this yet. Got a cylinder. Also, another thing I never do is use the cylinder prefab. I always get a circle and an extra it manually. It's just a habit. Okay, by 90 degrees. Oh, the solidifies being a uh, gonna be annoying for this. You separate each one into its own square. Square? Not a square at all. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean. Okay. Oh goodness. Because it's live I can't even edit 
found myself saying okay over and over again. The disaster. I really do say it a lot. Oh, let's use a vertex group. So if I use a vertex group, I can assign... <coughs> Excuse me. The sum of it to the solid one. There we are, that's better. Nice. Here we are. My throat has been quenched. So continuing, let's get, let's make the grub screws. Oop, not 60, six. Slightly different. I'm making this externally because that means I can then join it afterwards, but I can use I can use some of the editing tools, but only location, medium point, and move them in and out without adjusting their scale, which is handy. Oh, my chair is really going. Group. Okay, there's a little group in the middle. So the group screws are on the outside, then there's a groove in the middle for the strings to sit in. Let's do that now. Scale down the middle. There we are. Change my system language there. So Steam, I think. Steam Valve games. They seem to always reinstall a different keyboard on my computer. Which is really strange. This is only Valve games. What's going on here? Oh, this one's a bit smooth, but this one not to be. Why is my knock shot being disobeyed? Oh, did I mark something else? Oopsie. Okay, no problem. Blaming the, blaming the program when it was my fault. Ah. And then there is a screw adjustment screw running all the way through on the inside. Like here? Yeah. Yeah, that lines up. With the head just on the outside. If I do the head separately, then I can get a nice outline on it. It's looking like that should be okay. It's a little bit weird. Are they normally six sided? One, two, three, eight. They're normally eight sided. Okay. Let's 
just had a teeny tiny bit more detail for that one. So that's one tail piece done. Where's my body gone? Okay. Body don't go. What? <laughs> I'm done. When did that happen? Okay, it doesn't matter. But what? <laughs> I'm losing it. Oopsie. Oh, that's fine. Let's just do that. How did I manage to do that? That's so strange. <laughs> Now we have one tail piece done. Just duplicate it over. And it's mirrored for the last two. Other mirror. No oh, access. There we are. So I'm not going to actually be adjustable, but that's fine because. It's not real. <laughs> oh! Oh, the grub screws are lying around. That's okay. I sense it. Here we are. Align them all up. Like so. Perfect. That is chrome. Oh, nice. Okay. I think I added another material as well, just for contrast. But this goes black on it. No, they're not. <laughs> I think that's nice being shiny in chrome, actually. Let's keep it. We do have the ball ends going through the going through the back though. Which are kind of kind of obvious, so I think I'll have to include those. They're weird though. I guess I could just do do something like that. Give it a colour. <laughs> Well, that looks strange. And the string will go back into there. That looks okay, I guess. Look a bit odd. Because I have the... I have... Dario strings. Not an ad, but they have the fun coloured balls. <laughs> we have the... What colours are they? Oh, I can't see them without picking it up and I can't be bothered. <laughs> it's like red, green, black and gold or something. But each string has a different colour, which is so fun. But that means more materials or texture painting or something. Oh, wait, 
I lied. No, I don't. They're all chrome. <laughs> I thought I had the nicer strips on this one. Okay, apparently not. Well, that's fine. It makes my job easier here. Also, I've just found out that these screws are actually inclined upwards. So I'll do that now. It'd be unrealistic to just drag it up like this, but it might be okay because it because it's not <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> And no one's gonna zoom in this far. Yeah, like that. Mm. Not, not quite like that. Let's just lift them up on the grub screws. As they should be. Well, I'll set it up properly later. I kind of do give them a, a proper setup for some reason. arc to it, as it should. Here we are, that's okay. There would there are springs on these, but springs are so geometry intensive. Hmm. I'll have a thing. Karen slang for no, but I'm not going to tell you yet. There you are. This is the board. Nice. Looks a little bit strange, but it looks a bit strange in real life too. Nice. There you are. I think that's the body done. Where's my strap pin? Oh, I keyframed it into the other side. Oh, of course I did. Yeah. I want you rotate. That's why. Asked me setting myself up for failure. Okay, now onto the neck. This bit is less fun. I could copy the bulk from this one, maybe. Hmm. No, because the angles are different, so... Uh. Let's just do it properly. I guess I can see how many sides I use. So There's just three faces on top, and... Headstock should be the same, no? Oh, what happened to my booster? Okay, let's let's reference the headstock at least. Um. I'll redo the fretboard and the the fretboard and the nuts. I kind of want to keep the truss rod cover too. Cover? Not cover, truss rod. 
difficult. Um. Alright, alright. And the headstock is... Oh, it's a slightly different shape. That's because it's not the big, big wide 70s one, I imagine. Or because... Or just because base tuners are bigger? Who knows? Who knows? Not me. Oh, definitely it's just longer. Hmm. Hmm. Oops. We'll work out this bottom ledge later. In the meanwhile. Let's get this circle sorted. There we are. But it's okay. And in here, the shape is just a little bit strange. I'm gonna keep the circle round though. Reduce the number of pieces and then bevel it to get it smooth. There we are. That's a pro tip right there. Let the computer do the hard work. There we are. Not bad. I think I'm probably going to recreate the the neck profile is not too bad. Hmm. But because of this section, it's going to be difficult just to scale it up. Ah, uh, difficult decision. See, if we just scale it up, it won't be, it won't be perfect. But is it close enough? Will anyone notice? Probably not. You know what? I think that's okay. I need the different logo though. Let's stop. This. This is not a Jaguar. It's not Squire either. Let's just do some weird little logo so I remember to change it. There you are. <laughs> if I don't notice that then that's entirely my fault. Sorts of world origin. Why is your origin point by there? That's strange. Oh, because that was the first um thingy. You know what I mean. Probably. That's another thing I do. I always do cursor to selected and then selection to cursor instead of just copying position. Which is a lot a lot time saving. Eh, that didn't work. Maybe that's why. Do you have like a weird rotation? No? You know what? I'm gonna use my old method. Nah. Oh, but... Wait. Okay, slide dots are in the same place. Because this guitar, this bass, doesn't have top dots. It has 
squares back in the picture. Retro stuff. Does it have a first red dot? It does. That's interesting. And kind of weird. There we are. That's long. Bam. Now they're digging in way too far, so let's fix that up. Oh wait, let's change the knot width first, because it's a bigger priority. Here we are. Now this looks like job four. Oh no, I can't. I was gonna say that's a job for the computer, but it's on a weird shape. Uh, that's fine. Why is that? I mean, sure. Are you like that? Not anymore. Okay. Oh, I deleted the nut for some reason. Why is the shading here weird? Okay. Her shading's not weird. Ah, oh, I must have scaled something strange. because it's not straight anymore. Can I just triangulate? Not really. Mm, okay. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's a lot further off than I thought it was. Fix that a bit. I'm using Tiny Cat, BTX, P2X. I really wanted to update that add-on because the it's not showing up in my spacebar menu anymore. Which is a little bit, a little bit annoying because now it takes longer to to use. But it's still a really great add-on, so... I'm still willing to use it. Oops. There we are. So that just aligns everything up nicely. Is that better? A bit better. Not perfect. Everything else should be aligned. Because it's not a glossy material, it's gonna look fine and shaded anyway. In material, I mean. That's probably okay. No one's gonna see any problems out of there. Let's do the same on this side as well. Just fixing the problems on one side only. Favoritism. Okay. Oops. 
and line up. Oh, there it is. B2X and the other one. Here we are. A lot faster a second time. That's how I should have done it on the other side. It's okay. Give it the rustic hand carved aesthetic. Just a slang for a little bit rough and ready. Line all this up to B2X. Such a good add on. I did actually have actually updated already, and I just haven't noticed because I'm. I haven't updated my add-ons for a while. There we are. Nice! There's a there's an edge we don't want somewhere. There it is. Okay. I really shouldn't have deleted the nuts, but okay. Only a very basic shape. It's got quite the bevel on it, though. Something like that. Uh huh, there's no rosewood here. Just maple. And then that's white. It's actually sticking out. No, it's not. It would be on the old fenders, as in the picture, but that one's inset. None of this round nonsense though. It's a big square hole. A brutalist. I don't know if that's the right word. Um like so. And and hmm, zap and zap and zap and zap. There we are. Is that in line? It's not in line, is it? Oh, that's weird. Never mind. That is all maple. And so it's the inside actually. It's all unfinished. <laughs> unfinished as in not painted or lacquered or anything. Not unfinished as in incomplete. I resized my hexagon. That's okay. <laughs> no one's gonna see that. It's fine. There we are. Looking good. To shear these to the right angle of the neck. Need to insert them a little bit.
like so. Trim them down. Just get them out of the way. There we are. They're black though. No, they're not because there's binding on the neck. So it looks like the. Okay, that. No, that's fine. It's just a black plastic line. Blinding. Binding around the neck. Like so. And it has thickness on top, but there's not really much point in adding it. So I won't. That's the easy way out. Okay. Let's do the inlays. The inlays are in the same place as the fake ones, which is very convenient. They're on the same width though. So they appear to get thinner as it goes up the neck, but it's just the width changing. Maybe they actually get a little bit thicker. That's Confusing. Let's just do that the way I was doing it before. Uh, point two. There we are. And now it's the... <coughs> oh gosh. My voice is really decayed for the cost of this. I need to get better at long-term speaking. Fun task of just marking out all of these... bits and bobs. There we are. Nice and easy. Get rid of all of the excess. And bam. Perfect. We join that with the bullion. Nice. And they're actually black. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, we're almost there. Hey, Fred. How did I do the fret? Okay. This is just a a beveled shape that follows the... Okay, that's simple enough. I can probably replicate that exactly. Once again, duplicate the fretboard. And then add an edge loop for every fret. That's the, the metal the metal bars that go across the strings. <laughs> These ones. <laughs> For those who don't play. You should play though. It's great fun. <laughs> Everyone should play. We need more music in the world. Not that there's not a lot of it, but... It's just good fun. Okay. 
12, 13, 14. My left hand claw grip is feeling a bit unhappy. And the RSI side of my little finger at some point, probably. Oh. Okie dokie. So then I select all of them. As so. Bevel. To get a thickness. Extrude up. To get a height. The threads aren't very tall actually. Scale them in a bit. <clears throat> oh gosh. Here we are. And we have reds. So I will do what I did on the other one. Which is bevel these as well. Just to round them over slightly more. To get the nice the nice finish. Maple frets. Looks a bit strange. There we are. Oh, nice and shiny. Heck yes. Nice. I think those are a bit too tall. Even though. I intentionally made them less tall. There we are. That's about right. I mark them all as freestyle faces. So, because we don't want too many freestyle lines. Oh, what time? Half six. Okay, we still have a little bit of time left. We are almost done. Oh, that's coming along nicely. Tuners, string trees, and strings. Okay, let's do tuners. I can copy the bulk of them across, I think. Obviously, there's only four. And they're a very different shape, but other than that, they're very similar. Similar in concept and functionality, at least. Here we are. So now it's just about modeling them. Just the fun part. Potentially. A bit of a strange shape, these ones. Actually, they're very simple. Vintage engineering. the top and they have to split down the middle. Old school stuff. How far does the split go? Fit? Where you are weird angle? Oh. Oh. Here, that makes things easier. It's so hot in here. As soon as this is done, I'm turning my fan on. Oh. And toasting. Mm. 
and bam. Oops. <laughs> Not bam. Oh dear. Ah, there you are. That's better. Oh, it's multi-user. Cube 13, okay. Nice. That's fine. And important. Mm. It's small. That's my justification. No one's going to see it. the details I feel like I'm adding for my sake. <laughs> Which is fine. I'm allowed to model for me. Workshop. Nice. Looking good. Look at these big, 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 big tuners though. Big, big tuning packs, I mean. <laughs> Actually, they're really flat. Let's keep a, a face. We have gone off center. I think I'll work that out in a bit. Queen. No, no. Normal four. Normal four woman seven. <laughs> oh goodness. Um no one six no one nine. I can't remember what these mean. Something to do with its relative position to the origin. I can't remember what. Point north, north for 106. Okay, so that's probably that old. Okay, that's fine. And now it's point north. north. No, one one nine two. There we are. Perfect. Oh, that's crisis averted. I didn't come here to do mathematics. Oh, I did put that in a completely the wrong place, though. Ah. Hmm. 
No, not 8439. In my defense, it was being pushed out of position by the by the geometry preview thing. So I'm gonna say that's why I got it wrong. Is off to this side, like so. I'm gonna use bevels again as they make everything nice and smooth. That looks a that right for bubbles? Oh dear. Not quite. Let's try that. Closer. There you are, that's about right. This is probably by far not the best way to do this, but gets the job done. Wow, look how horrible that geometry is. of all of these we had extra geometry and try and work out what's going on around the edges about right let's finish off with proportional editing there you are perfect or at least perfect enough The back are just these big rectangles, really. They're very minimal. That's basically all there. Love it. 
wider. Close to the edge. Yeah. Something like that. Here we are. Nice. Two things left to go. Strings and logo. Strings. One, two, three, four. So, originally I was making them the correct thickness for. Um, I was just making them the correct thickness. But because of the. Oh! I was gonna say because of the line art. I'd made them thinner, but I'm not using. I'm not using line art on the strings anymore. <laughs> Okay, scratch that. I'll still make them thinner than they're meant to be, just so visual clarity. But yeah, that's interesting. That's not really needed anymore. string spacing just subdivide on line subdivided polylines solution to all the problems oh and the string tree and then we're done Poor little pinky can have a break. There we are. Where's the string tree? There. That's pretty much just a circle, right? 12? 12. That's a full cover song. There was such a good recording of 12-12 where something went wrong. The CD started skipping, I think. And Paul played a uh, Fantastic solo, just solo solo. No, no instrumental, nothing. Just to fill the time. And it was so cool. I can't find that recording anywhere. Which is so sad. But that improvisation when technical difficulties, ironic. That was so fun. Pretty much all we got left now is the logo. Once I've aligned these. Ouch, my finger. They can float slightly because I don't want it to intersect with the line art, but just a little bit.
There we are. Now fix this. Let's just approximate since it's a visual art in the end. There we are. That'll do just fine. As with the other one, just a very simple little hump. Not a proper curve, but that'll do just just fine. As long as the strings are passing off the frets. Oh, they're not. <laughs> Let's try and make this a little bit better. So that should thread them in properly. Ish. That'll do just fine. Yeah, it doesn't technically fit, but it's okay. It's representative. <laughs> fine from a distance which is where I'll be viewed at so that's the important part now this isn't actually how it looks it actually goes down to the bottom just use the knife tool nice and easy Knife and easy. Oh goodness, this is terrible. There we are. And then these are just maple. Oh wow, okay. Looking really good. Logo time. So, just going to be doing this in Painterless AI. I've already. I'd, I'd say I prepared it, but I was just going to do it and then didn't. <laughs> so, perfect setup for now. The line art tool on Painterless AI is fantastic. I love it so much. Graphic was so low quality. I need to look at the colors actually. So the square logo 
this is white on black. And then across here. I probably could have made it as one shape actually. Hmm. Can you join lines together? I don't know. Something like that. After all, it's an art tool, not a CAD. I guess in a way it is CAD, isn't it? It's a, it's a strange thought. Is Photoshop CAD because it's a computer helping a designer? Is the, are there structure definitions? There we are. Using the magic wand. What's on black? Mm. Okay, not quite. Let's increase the level line weight and then actually use the lines. It's actually reduced the chance of overflow. So anyway, it's not a little bit messy. Actually, not manually though. <laughs> After all, drawing program. and simple. Tidy up the bit of switch look. A little bit rough. density down just match that a little bit there we are that looks okay certified okay perfect but it's gonna be really small on the headstock and also it's not painted on or like a decal so it's gonna be even less obvious than if it was on the square align it very small like 
like there. The screen should actually further back. Interesting difference. Not that there, I think. And it's white ish. Like speckly far away. That looks okay. Let's make an actual texture though. Oops. In. Okay, so it's about right, but we need to limit the hues. Them map range them. from zero to one. So all shades of blue and lover purple. So the saturation right down. Saturation value do differ. Could get a new map range in the creature, I guess. Ah, oh, that looks good. And value at one just should be fine. Look that into there. Okay. Slightly less enthusiastic from the good. There. I'll do just a little bit of extra detail for for no reason. gonna get drawn with the free star isn't it so no, that's okay i think we are done are we done let's get a camera that exclude the collection from the free star lines. There we are. I 
That's pretty good. So, I am going to take a break because my fingers are hurting. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we are done for today. I think that went okay. I think the stream worked fine. But it'd be going for two hours. Well, I got something done. That was productive time. So if nothing, I pressured myself into being productive by giving myself an audience. Which is fine if it works. Let's see if we can get a nice angle on it. Where's the pickup gone? Why is it gone again? Hang on a second. Also, where's my camera? That should be in cam. here this why did i alt g on you okay now we are done what a time how is my switches Switches off. They're all inside each other. Why? Why are you like this? And now we are done, question mark. Do not trust. Oopsie. The neck's a bit high. Let me see how it is in real life. Okay, up there. That's fine, easy fit. How's the, how's the action looking? Oh, it's been low. Okay, I need to raise the saddles. Playable. <laughs> oh, my finger. <laughs> A nice camera angle. done soon. At some point I will actually be done. Double double four please. Thank you. I'm not gonna do the rigging today. That's very simple anyway so that's not a problem. 
I always like tucking my strap up the top like that. Makes me feel better. Okay, there we are. Now we're done. Oh, I didn't change the colors at all. Quite a lot nice in that random color which I picked. Let's go for a pinky. The light is a bit harsh there though. Where is it coming from? Oh, Skybox. There we are. That's better. Let's move these down to Jazz. So that curve is that curve is in on it. Okay, for okay, there we are. Okay, finally. I think we're actually done. Let's get the jacket out of shot. Just the same place, it's bad. Alright. Where's my pickup phone? Where's my pickup gone? Why are you like this? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> Teleporting pickups. Okay, that's fine. Let's render it before it goes wrong. I want to turn up the line thickness a bit. Also, the colors a bit. Saturated. That's spiky. Oh, there's no like. I thought there was a subdivision on it. My bad.
Okay, there we are. That looks <laughs> a bit messy. That's just a freestyle drawing the lines between the strings though, so... Not really much I can do there. And it looks fine from a... As long as you're not paying attention. <laughs> it looks fine as long as you're not paying attention. Iconic. Oh, and I set up the bending rigger. Another time. Another time. Not now. Is there a way I can make that less... <laughs> less bad? <laughs> That's like freestyle settings. Because the lines are actually kind of thick. For chaining. You know what? I think that looks good. Let's just hide this for the for a render. There we are. That's today's model. <laughs> oh, interesting. I've done the tiles based on world coordinates, so they're always based in the same way. <laughs> Tell I'm kind of fussy. Okay, there we are. Now I'm now I'm really done for real, really. Okay. <sighs> there we are. Finally, at last, it took two and a quarter hours, but we got there. We got a base. Hang on. We got a base! Woo! <laughs> so that's it for today. I hope that... <laughs> I hope that's saved. Firstly, I hope the stream worked. Secondly, I hope that was entertaining to... ...watch? Or informative in some way? <laughs> you get to see a bit inside my... ...insane, crazy creative process, which is just... Well, actually no, this isn't creative process, this is just modelling. You can see my problem solving a bit. Basically, I hope it was okay, and I hope it worked. Apparently there were no dropped frames, so that's good. I don't know if it actually was live. <laughs> so, uh, if you watched it here, congratulations. I hope you're having a good time. And thank you for watching. So, I guess... Just outro ah this is so awkward i'm so bad at outros normally i cut out half of the random trash i say anyway okay we are done good morning have a good day good morning europe have a good day everywhere else thanks for watching keep your head up guys <laughs>